Okay, this is the Mark II version of my uh, head up display stuff. What we've got here is we have a pair of eye top LCD glasses, uh, which have a little um, 640 by 480 colour LCD in here. That's the control unit for the eye tops. And we have my flying helmet. So, my flying helmet, as you can see, I've got a GoPro on the top of it. And you can see that we've got a video out and actually um, power in here. My normal flying helmet that I use. Um, and the interesting bit is what we have inside. So, what we have in here is a radio control OSD, which is this thing here, which is an on-screen display, and a GPS, which is here, and we also have a LiPo in here, which is in a fireproof bag um, for protection. The LiPo powers the OSD GPS and also feeds power to the GoPro. So I can get about three hours of power for the GoPro and the GPS and stuff without it using the GoPro's battery. So I got a lot more video. The OSD's job is to feed the uh, GoPro video through it and then add all the head up display stuff. That feeds out into the video signal, which goes to these glasses, which I can then see. And it's in the sort of bottom right of my vision here, if you imagine that was my vision. It sort of appears here, all the information, and whatever I'm shooting in the GoPro. So I can see exactly what my GoPro is pointing at, whether it's recording or not, and I can see my altitude, my speed, my direction, how far I am from home, how to get to home, etc. Okay, so the first thing you do, you want to put this on, switch the GoPro on. Switch uh, the uh, OSD itself on, which is just on a battery. And the last thing I need to do is just give the OSD a minute to um, get a GPS lock so I can switch my video transmitter on and now check my eye tops. And uh, I had this on um, just before, so it's a hot, it's a hot start rather than a cold start. So it's automatically got a reaction. So at the moment, I'm looking at the video signal from the GoPro. Um, I can see that uh, uh, it's 1623. I can see I've got five satellites locked on. I can see that my height at the moment, my speed, I can see my distance from home. Uh, I can reset my distance to home by just pressing the button at the bottom of my helmet here. That's me locked onto my home, so I'm now zero feet from home. I can now put my helmet on. Okay, helmet on. Goggles. Okay, job done. So, what I'm seeing at the moment. In my bottom right is the output from the GoPro and all the GPS information overlaid on it in a kind of fighter pilot type HUD. And as I say, I can move these about a bit if they're really in the way, but you know they're taking off, taking about kind of that kind of fist view on my right eye, and I can still get, I can still see everything else in 3D, but in this bit. Um, Obviously, my eyes block. But because you've got two eyes, um, it works a bit more like a HUD. In other words, I can kind of see through the HUD because this eye is seeing um, what this eye is getting blocked from. So it kind of overlays the uh, the GPS information and the video on top of the world. So it works pretty well. And obviously, the focus is such that when I'm looking at di the distance, that's the, the focus that this is set on as well. So it's not like I'm continually trying to adjust my eyesight. <laughs> 